Albert Phelps is a full-time prompt engineer, or as he describes it, an AI whisperer. I sat down with him to understand what's behind this increasingly coveted role that can pay up to six figures. So we're saying, you know, you're a highly creative and talented journalist working for Bloomberg News. Thank you. <laughs> and, you know, create an introduction to an article on prompt engineering in the house Bloomberg style. It's not got the kind of clean prose of Bloomberg, but <laughs> it's a bit flowery, I'd say. With the rise of large language models like GPT-3 and GPT-4, demand for a new kind of AI job is also growing. Prompt engineers spend their day coaxing the AI to produce better results and help companies train their workforce to harness the tools. The role can pay as much as $335,000 a year, and for many it doesn't even require a degree in computer engineering or advanced coding skills. I'd love to see how you spend your day. Um, could you maybe build me a demo of uh, a Bloomberg editor, let's say? Absolutely, let's go and do that. Okay. OpenAI's consumer-facing tool, ChatGPT, is pre-prompted. It's set up to be a helpful assistant. To be a professional prompt engineer, you have to get into the guts of the large language model. That means changing the default prompt. This is the chat, uh, the open AI playground, right? Yeah. So this is m a more advanced, more neutral, more powerful, customizable version of what you see when you load up ChatGPT. Yeah, exactly. It's what, what we're going to look to do is help you write some interesting content around different prompt engineering techniques. So this is, you're, you're making a, a sort of helpful assistant for me to write a story about prompt engineering as a Bloomberg journalist? Yes, okay. exactly, yeah. A seemingly semi-mystifying technique, prompt engineering is an action-packed interface between human creativity oh, and AI's yeah. data crunching power. Mm. Yeah, pretty, uh, it's making me a bit sick. Yeah, that. <laughs> I think so, I think so. I think there's more work that we need to do. There are a few tips and tricks that Albert uses to improve his results. Change the temperature or the randomness of the output. Tell it to take things step by step. And feed it a previously written article as an example. After 30 minutes of work, we didn't quite manage to replace my editor with AI, but the responses did get more useful as Albert added more context and instructions. One thing that I probably haven't done a lot of here is actually treating this as a dialogue is actually a really useful way often of getting mm -hmm. um, better results. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. There's a, uh, there's a germ of an idea that's interesting. Albert says prompt engineering has turned the English language into a programming language. He's had no technical education or programming experience. In fact, he studied history at university before starting his career as a consultant. He says his non-scientific background makes him more, not less qualified to wrangle AI tools. When it comes to fearing this technology replacing our jobs, he's not as concerned. And when will my editor just be a ChatGPT type model that we've developed together? I, I, th I would probably think of it the other way around. I think we as humans actually might become more like the editor. Mm -hmm. We'll outline what we want the model to do, we'll give it some test cases, we'll give it some examples, and then we'll be the ones essentially doing that, that editing. 